Hey, 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 welcome to Players Only, the game time edition, an eight game night, a lot of exciting games. I'm Chris Weber, Isaiah Thomas, and Kevin McHale, the man with the best jump hook ever in the world. That's, that's just my <laughs> opinion as a student of the game. But let's start off with the marquee game. Anytime you see Golden State play, you know they're the game of the night. Let's play Thompson. Trade him. He can't shoot. He's in a slump. I don't know why they have this guy He's no on the good. team. Remember everybody saying that, K-Mac? Yes, oh, I Just do. throw it to me right wow. there, though. Oh, wait. Oh, he can shoot. But no, Clay really can't shoot that well. And, and I know he can't pass. And Curry can't pass. Even though he's going to get the steal right here. And all you got to do is run, Zeke, because they look for you on this team. Uh, he nice. passed up a layup for a dunk. <laughs> he said, I, I don't want this. Let me just hit my man coming down the middle for a dunk. They do it all for the crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And talking about doing it for the crowd, uh, I want to give uh, Andre Iguodala a little credit for jumping back in that hot tub time machine, K-Mac. Look at him. Look at him. He, yeah, he said, hey, that's what I used to do when I was 25. Yeah. Bam. Getting up like that. And how about this? Pay a little homage to our man Steve Smith. Smitty. Smitty. Oh, the Steve Smith step Smitty back. Smitty for the three. three. Is that the first with time the I've three. ever seen that play? Wow. But here comes Clay. That? Well, Clay can't shoot. Remember, we all said that everybody wants to Clay. get rid of him. Pull. Oh, no, no, no. Is he a ski shooter, Zeke? Pull. Pull. Oh, no. But listen, trade the guy again. Remember, he can't shoot. He's got to find oh. a different way, a new arena, new. Oh, yeah, that man gets buckets. Don't and leave Curry, that man. He's going to miss the three, but guess what happens when Curry misses the three? Guess who's going to be right there to find it, get it to me, and pull! That's right, again, Thompson. 43 points, 18 for 29, 7 for 16 from three-point line. That's right, that's his 12th 40-point game, and our man, 3D. Caught up with them after the game. Ready to stick them up. Tell them what time it is. Tell them what time it is. <laughs> Reed, he, don't, he don't even have to stick them up no more. No, no, they, right? they just know. They, they yeah. just know. They just come in hands up. Oh, man. Yeah. You see how excited 3D gets. I still yeah. love that. Zeke, again, the bad boys sat down. You and Joe D, two of the best guards ever, best backcourt ever, sat down with the Splash Brothers. What impressed you most about them? The, the, their basketball IQ, their, their diligence to making sure that they give the fans and the paying customers a show every single night, and their ability to get open. I mean, every, every, every defender in the league, every coach in the league comes in with a game plan, and they're telling you, don't let these guys get open around the three-point line, and they find ways to every single night get open, not only get open, but to get 15, 14 shots off from the three-point line. I, I think it's amazing and incredible what they do. I love Deion Sanders, my favorite football player of all time. I don't think he could check them on the face guard, <laughs> them on the floor. The I don't way know, that they prime, cut the Prime vision. time, I don't know. Prime, no, you think he could? Prime time on the face guard. You okay. May, you know, f prime time made <laughs> you just play on the left side <laughs> of the field. Prime took, time too small. He just clay shoot over the top. He, he took the right side of the field <laughs> away. The coaches <laughs> would come in and say, don't throw it over there. Prime time over there. We only going to play over here. But they, they <laughs> move so much, though. Their, their, their willingness to continually move and cut and not get tired. And, and, and if you take it away twice, the third time they move just as hard, they yeah. get that shot. Their willingness to work hard for good shots is impressive. Yes. 36 assists for that team. They're sharing the ball and having fun. I mean, just have a guy say, I'm going to do what I do best. Shoot, play defense, cut. Uh, uh, that's great. Uh, Manny Pacquiao in the building. Floyd better not be. Oh, uh -oh. Get him, Floyd. Stand uh -oh. up. Oh, oh, he Floyd, wants that oh, second oh, fight. He oh, wants yeah, that 50 yeah, million. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he needs he need the money to go. But Gavin, nah, you know he can shoot the three. But going in for the dunk right there, K-Mac, I know you've been not surprised, but you've enjoyed the way how hard the Clippers have come out and played early. Yeah, they've really played well. One of my favorite Clippers when this show is uh, Tobias Harris knocking down shots. They're going to show one of my favorite Clippers, though. This brings energy. Montrez Harrell, oh, yeah. the guy who just works hard and plays hard. And he outruns everybody, gets the ball, and he's doing the Montrez Harrell thing, getting the ball in there and just fighting hard. And again, I think we got a post up. Oh, no, this is the long. Oh, yeah, long. This, this is Curry. He's not going to shoot that. Sweet. Luke. That's right. This is the Montrez Harrell yeah, play you're talking about. He's been working on his turnaround jumper. He did that for you, K-Mac. Dream shake. That's the dream <laughs> shake. Yeah, and Zeke, Lou Will. Lou Will, he, the microwave, too. He heat up oh. like Vinny oh, Johnson. Oh, Lou Will, you just got christened the name microwave, too, from a man that played with the microwave and used to get buckets. 27, 9 for 14 for Lou Will. So efficient. 10 points right there. L.A., they get the win on the other side. Kimber Walker, only 13 points tonight. But on the other side of the break, now that Coach Thibodeau Hold is on. not there, the weight is squarely on the back of Wiggins and Towns. How did they handle it tonight? Did they get their new coach? 
his first win. We'll be back in a second. Game time, players only. Welcome back to Players Only. Now, Andrew Wiggins, he has 24 points. He's 8 for 15. He's going ham out there. And Paul George, 18 points, 6 for 12. And when you think about Paul George, his last 16 games, he's averaged, let's just call it 32, 31.8, 49% field goal for shooting. I mean, 43 <laughs> from threes. He is hot. But when we talk about this OKC team, uh, their coach has been fired. The team could be in disarray, but we know one thing. The constant has to be Carl Anthony Towns. Mm -hmm. And it seems like he's coming out with a little bit of energy, doing those little things, those dirty things, K-Mac, that you love seeing big fellas do. Yeah, he was, they were up 10 when he was playing, you know, and then he got in foul trouble, got his third foul. He only played nine minutes in the first half. Um, I like when he puts his head down and goes to the basket. I, I, I just think sometimes he'll settle. I mean, right here, you always don't have to be in great, you know, he's in great position for an offensive rebound, but he works for it. He bodies the guy, gets it, puts it back up, and gets an end one. Now you're going to see a little out-of-bounds play, a nice play drawn up by Ryan. Just, but he just gets it and goes right to the rim. There's no hesitation. And I think when Carl Anthony Towns is attacking the rim, he's getting to the line and putting, putting uh, a lot of pressure on the defense, and that's the best version of the cat. I know all the analytics people say, oh, he's got to take more threes. Screw those threes, man. Yeah. Get that ball in the paint you know, and be effective. Um, and he's really, I like the way he's playing right now, but it's got to stay on the floor. You know, Zeke, and on the other end, Westbrook, you look at his stats tonight. Four turnovers, uh, 3 for 10, 0 for 3 from uh, the three-point line. But just uh, for our fans out there, this year, he leads the NBA in steals and assists yeah, yeah. <laughs> per yeah. game. And if you remember a little while ago, he said, I can do everything, pass, shoot, dribble. Yeah. Uh, what do you see that you like of his game or don't like of his game tonight? Well, the, the thing that I, I like that I'm, I'm seeing about him is that he's not worried about, A, his field goal percentage or really scoring. And even though we're going to see him taking a mid-range jumper here, which he's so efficient at doing, and also driving to the basket, once he makes the mid-range, it opens up the drive. And you like to see a clear reward of his stature, even when he makes a mistake, right? Somebody is there to help and assist him. Westbrook sets the tone, he sets the tempo with his energy, with his force, with his stamina every single night. So he's got nine assists already. And when you got nine assists and you dishing and moving the ball around, that means everybody else is eating, everybody else is feeling good, and we know he can come back and get his. So. I love what he's done thus far the first half. Let me ask you something, Zeke, uh, because Westbrook is a heavily criticized player. MVP, yeah. um, people say you can't play with them. Other players may get a pass. He plays so hard every every night. When, when you look at a guy that plays this hard, so efficient in many areas, maybe in other areas not as efficient, why do you, why do you think – he gets the criticism. Is it, is it just because of his game? Is it because of how he looks, how angry he looks? Is it because of how he attacks the basket, how fast he plays? But I, I'm trying to find, like, what, what really is the criticism? Like you said, he has four turnovers tonight, yeah. but still has nine assists, still leading the league, re out rebounding big fellas. What, what is the knock? I, I think, Chris, he's, he's at that, that stage um, where, where a lot of players get to where they've had great success in the league, and then it's like, okay, now you got to win. Mm -hmm. I, I need to see you win it all. Okay, yeah, I, I, you're the MVP. And, and Harden's in the same situation. You're the yep. MVP, you play good, you get numbers. Other, I've seen all that. Regular all season's time. great, so mm -hmm. forth and so on. Now you've gotten to the point where you've separated yourself from the pack. So you're not measured with the pack anymore. Right. Now you start getting measured with the champions. That's right. Okay, can you put a ring on your finger? Right. And, and, and can he get to that next level? of being a champion and winning the championship. And that's where the criticism comes in for he and also Harden right Harden, now. Yeah, yeah. Other yeah I mean, because now, now it's like, okay, now you got to get there. We've seen I'm not impressed there. by the regular season. Yeah, that, that, don't, that don't make me excited no more. Yeah. I got to like, see you in the playoffs. And the thing yeah. I like about Russell right now, he's three for 10, okay? His shot hasn't been going in. He stops shooting. He defers. Like, he'll, he'll, he'll let Paul get off him. He's, he kind of knows that he, you know, you know, when you shoot and your shot's kind of funky, you shoot four or five shots, you're like, I don't know if I got that yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plan B. And he's, he's the nine assists at halftime, you know? So I like the fact that he's deferring and he's going to win a championship if he does win a championship with the right players around him and him deferring. Because there's going to be some games where are just not going, but he's yeah. going to find other people. He's talented enough to affect the game in so many different ways. So you're right. His criticism comes from his team doesn't win enough and, yeah. and, and he's done everything else. 
That's good that you broke it down like that because sometimes you think it's personal and the way that you put it, it is personal because you want to be personally regarded as one of the best with these guys. And that just means let it brush off your back and win some games and show us what you're going to do. You got to keep moving up the ladder. Yeah. You can't stop right here. Yeah. You got to keep moving. Yeah, and moving up the ladder. This man wants to move up the ladder. That's right. That's Mike's brother. That's right. Kyle <laughs> Lowry. Lowry. You know, yeah. Mike's Get it, brother. bad boys. Uh -huh. Players on at this point as we stand here, do you sort of have your rotation and guys and ins and out figured out? Or do you feel like you'll feel the game out as it goes and decide along the way? Yeah, I have a, a framework um, would like to see happen. But obviously, things happen throughout a game and, uh, you know, fouls, things like that. So um, I'll be feeling it out as well. Are there some butterflies going on inside you right now? Yeah, I'd be lying if I said there weren't. There's a, I think that's only natural. But... Um, you know, I feel I feel very comfortable with this group um, of coaches and this uh, group of players too. So I feel good. Is there someone that, whether it's another coach or a player, um, or even someone in your family that you really leaned on in the last 24 hours, just kind of keep your head straight? Uh, yeah, I've leaned on a lot of people. Um, you know, when when I have taken phone calls or, or and have taken breaks from from trying to get ready for tonight, um, but you know, obviously mother, mother, wife. And then I got some coaching friends around the league, and then also guys in the locker room have, have been great. Ryan, this is a tough question. He knows where his bread is buttered, the mother and the wife. That's right. Make yeah. sure you get them the shout out first. Uh, that's um, Ryan right there, Ryan Saunders. And he's 32 years old. He's younger than 42 players in the NBA, including three on his own team when you talk about uh, Dang, Todd Gibson, and uh, Anthony Tolliver. He looked a little nervous there, but he loved the fact that, you know, he knows his team, and this is a moment that he's been dreaming about a lifetime. You have to remember that as well. And uh, I'm sure with the group of coaches and the people that he, that he has around him that, you know, this is the start of something good because a, as a head coach, you want to make sure that you have a, a long tenure and it's not just about this time with them. Uh, any last second advice that you would, you would give him besides those last 35 seconds of the game, <laughs> K-Mac? You know what? Be flexible because I think I think when you first start coaching, sometimes you have an idea in your head what's going to happen. And man, your first player, your your best player gets ejected by you know arguing with the referee in the first three minutes. You go like, huh, things are going to change. You got to be flexible. Every game is different. And I you know I knew that as a player, and I had to put my player's hat back on. Like every bit, every every game is going to be different. As a player, every game is different. As a coach, every game is different. And guys get hot and stuff. And when, you know, actually, when I look at that. I, I, I just can't help but think of how proud Flip would have been. Yes, and, yeah. and, and Flip is of his son right now, take, coaching this team and stuff like that. I just uh, known Ryan since he was just a little baby. And um, boy, his dad would just be, just, his, his dad's absolutely beaming right now. And so it's, uh, it's pretty cool. But when he said butterflies, you know you got all oh, kinds yeah, of so, butterflies. I'll tell you what, uh, <laughs> yeah, Flip that. Saunders was my coach. And I think just in honor of his dad, he should call 252 Twist. Twist. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody in the league that played, no, that's you dribble to one side, bring the guy yeah. back over and yeah. in front of him. And Vladi, way to switch on that play. Vladi yeah. always had my back. And, and Zeke, um, you know, as he's getting ready for Westbrook and, and PG-13 and a, one of the best defensive teams in this league, um, you, you know, it, does that even throw more of a wrinkle into it or just because it's your first NBA game, it doesn't matter who? No, I, I think he's going to be well prepared for that because, you know, as an assistant coach, you know, this this could have been his That's right. That's guy. right. So, That's you right. Know, yeah. So he probably understands everything that, you know, the opponents do, that that OKC is going to be doing, the player tendencies and all of that. He's well versed in that. I think the most difficult thing for him tonight will be finding his coach's voice. Mm. You know, when he when you when you yeah. when he says he's got butterflies, uh, the most intimidating thing that a lot of young young coaches will find is when they stand up in front of that locker room, when they stand in front of those players in that locker room, and those 12 to 15 guys are sitting in front of them, and they're all looking at you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And that voice comes out, that that voice of nervousness or hesitancy. If that voice comes out, then all the players are like, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I've, done, yeah. I've seen some veterans yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, so, oh. yeah. so you, so you know that he, he got to yeah. find, he got to find his coach's voice. He's got to find his like, you know, yeah. we're here to win it. We're gonna yeah. do it, so forth and so on. Because then they, they have belief. But if there's any crack or if there's any shake on yeah. the board, yeah. Yeah. You're Hopefully done. being at home for him will give the energy to the players where they'll go yeah. out. And you know how that one player is always inspired. And speaking Ooh. of being inspired. Elvis. Yeah. Give that I knew man he a peanut die. butter and banana sandwich <laughs> ASAP. That's I right. knew he was alive. You knew. <laughs> you know. <laughs>
know, he's probably with Tupac hanging out after the game. <laughs>